Hey, what's going on guys? Maldiva here and today I'm gonna be bringing you a destruction warlock PvP talent guide So there's gonna be two main builds with this spec. Uh, it's either big bolt or cremation So the first build that I'm going over is gonna be the big bolt spec You play this mainly in threes. You can probably play it in twos Although I wouldn't really recommend destro in twos at all unless you want to be tilted but that's just my recommendation and dueling probably i would say big bolt as well you can play this in rbgs so uh moving on to the talents backdraft is going to be your first pick it's going to reduce the cast time of your chaos bolt so 100 percent necessary for the next reverse entropy this is just for mana restoration you could be i guess maybe a little ballsy and play empowered life tap but this is going to be my preferred talent because you'll be able to fear and not have to worry about life tapping too much because you'll always be up on mana with this talent. And for the 45 tree, Mortal Coil is always going to be the best pick. And unless maybe you're struggling versus melee cleaves in threes, then you can play Portal. But Mortal Coil is just so good because you can Havoc and Double Coil and then you also get the healing back from it. So that's just why it's a, a very, very great pick. And for the 60 tree... Soul Harvest is going to be the go for this build. You don't really want the others, especially Fire and Brimstone. Makes no sense for big bolt spec, so it's going to always be Soul Harvest. Whenever you're going for the big, huge bolts, this is going to be the offensive cooldown that you're going to be popping for the extra damage. And the 75 tree, I always default Demon Skin, no matter what spec or build I play. That's just my preference, because over time, it's better in like a long threes game compared to like Dark Pact, which this could be good for dueling and... 1v1 situations all that very very short games but for me demon skin is always going to be my pick and for the 90 tree service this is just the really good talent for threes because you have the choice of having the succubus seduce which is a really long good cc and you also have the second spell lock so you can spell lock the healer or another spellcaster in the game if i was going for let's say a 1v1 build supremacy could be the pick because you can play doom guard and root the let's say it's a melee you can root him and have the extra added damage from the doom guard because he does a pretty good amount of damage just bad in threes because he needs to cast and if people go around a pillar or line of sight it just interrupts the doom guard and then you also the bad thing is though you lose the trait the um there's an artifact trait that spawns multiple infernals as you can see i'll just pop it right here if you play that, you're going to lose that benefit, which is kind of the crappy part about that talent. So that's why, again, why service is the best pick. And then moving on to the last channel, Demon Fire. I always go with that. Soul Conduit, you're, you're normally pretty good on shards because, let's say, people are just trying to kick you anyway on Chaos Bolt. So you're going to be sitting on high shards anyway. And De channel Demon Fire is just a, a cool spell you can either cast after a Chaos Bolt or let's say they're not letting you get bolts off. You can get your Immolates up and then channel Demon Fire for some added pressure. And Wreck Havoc, I you can maybe mess around with this a bit, but I just for my play style, I don't use Wreck Havoc. Always channel Demon Fire. It's a cool looking spell as well. And then on to the Honor Talents. So Trinkets, always no matter what spec, it's going to be kind of preference. I play Medallion most of the time, but Orc Relent can be very, very good versus stun teams, so just keep that in mind. Mind Quickness is default. I have Curse of Fragility because when I'm going for the big bolt, I'm going to frag them right after it, so it reduces their max health and helps you get the kill easier. But if you're, let's say you're struggling versus spellcasters, you can run tongues. If you're struggling versus like a warrior, weakness could be a good option as well. And now for this one, there's also a couple choices. Netherward, I just always default because a lot of the times the people that I'm fighting, it's magical interrupts. So I'm using Netherward to deflect that. But if I'm against a warrior or a rogue, let's say, casting circle would be the better pick here. And then essence drain, I would not, you're not really going to want to be drain lifing as big bolt spec. And then here, focus chaos obviously makes sense. This is what's going to buff your chaos bolt damage. No sense in getting the other two, so that's going to be the pick, 100%. And for the last one, you can play Fellfisher or Entrenched. If maybe you're lacking roots on your team, you can kind of pick up the slack and be the guy with the roots. But missing out on Fellfisher is, is pretty huge because if they stand in this 
reduced healing on them, which is pretty huge. So I would highly recommend that with this build. Now, we're going to show off the uh, cremation build. So it's going to be most of the same talents. I'll go over which ones that I switch out. So for cremation, it's going to be backdraft, reverse, coil as well. Instead of soul harvest, you could potentially play soul harvest. But the, the reason this build shines is you're going to play fire and brimstone. And it's really, really insane for cleaving. So if you fight a melee cleave... And there's the, obviously the two melees are going to be stacking on you. You're going to benefit from Fry and Brimstone. So you sit there incinerating them and dropping Rain of Fires, just cleaving them to death. Demon Skin stays at the same service as well and Channel Demon Fire. Nothing changes there. The big changes are going to come in the Honor Talents. So uh, Trinket always, that's going to be your preference. Mind Quickness. The Curse is up to you. Fragility could be the go here. Nether Ward, same thing here. It's going to be preference. But then for the last two, this is this is what's going to be different. So you need need the cremation, this talent. Because obviously that's what makes makes this build. So you cannot go without that. And then Fellfisher, you're not really going to be Chaos Bolting too much with this build. So I wouldn't recommend Fellfisher. I always play Entrenched. But let's say a, maybe you're playing with a guy that has a lot of roots. You can play Fellfisher and maybe throw in some chaos bolts here and there if they, they drop a stun but most of the time i am always entrenched with this build thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope it helped if you have any questions comments or concerns just leave a message down below and i'll be more than happy to answer it i also have a bfa giveaway going on right now so if you click the link in the description you can follow the instructions on how to enter that and with that being said guys thank you again i will see you all in the next video